Welcome. I want to show you what website we will be using for editing our photos. This website is called pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com. This website is similar to Photoshop. It's not, it doesn't have everything that Photoshop has, but it's very similar. When you open up the home page to pixlr.com, you're going to have these three choices. We're going to use the editor, the advanced editor, the most. You are welcome to try using the other um, Pixlr products. They're a little bit more fun. They're a little more like Instagram, and I'll show you those as well. But we're going to start with editor. And the first thing you're going to do is open your image. So it should be on your computer. You're going to choose an image to use to edit. This would be one of the ones that you're uh, for your assignment. So you're going to choose one to edit. And your first assignment is um, in the digital editing project is just to do some very basic edits. I'm going to show you a little bit about where those are. So I'm going to start with my basic image in your digital ed editing project. You will do basic edits like cropping and adjustments and turning things black and white. You can play around with the different filters as well. I'm going to show you in Pixlr. You're going to be in the menu that's down below your address bar, not up above. So make sure you're using the Pixlr, editor, um, Pixlr menu and not your web browser menu. There are two, there's two sets if you notice right here. So you're going to be down underneath your address bar and um, for your first project, you'll mostly be under the drop-down menu for adjustments. For example, brightness and contrast will be one that you can play around with. You can see the difference and get it to where you like it. If you have a photo that's a little under or overexposed, you can also play with those. Uh, you can also adjust hue and saturation. This is one I like to do where I can um, pump up the color just a little bit. Don't go too far. It gets a little too much especially with skin tones, but you can maybe raise the color just a little bit, gives a little more richness. Play around with the different settings. And if you play around with hue, it'll change the whole color of the picture, which can be a little bit crazy if that's what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, just a little bit of adjustment. Um, also, Under filter, if you want to play around with some of those, I'll show you a, a real popular one, Vignette. is one we're going to use later in the year. So some of the other basic um, editing tools that you'll be using are the selection tool, where you can select an area that you might want to work with, your cropping tool, which is where you'll crop if you want to make your photo a little bit smaller, get rid of some stuff off the edges. If you ever get to a part where you want to back up and you don't like the change that you made, you can just go to Edit Undo. That's a very common to just step back. Alright, so one of the most common tools that you'll be using is to create layers. We're going to work with layers a lot more in the, in the semester. Where your, layer tool, where your layers are is there's a drop down menu and you can see your different options. We're going to start with making a duplicate layer which means I'm going to copy that same picture on top of itself and if I look over here in my layers window I can see that same picture twice. I have selected the top copy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up some hidden tools that are right here under it's called the toggle layer setting so if I click that then all of a sudden I can see I have something called opacity and the different modes of the layers. So if I drop down with the different modes of the layers, if I try them, you're going to see it changes dramatically my image. So I'll show you a, a couple of real popular ones is overlay. You can kind of see that it gives a real bright, high contrast effect. And then another um, tool that I'll use is I can lower the opacity of the layer, which we'll be doing in some of our projects. So you can lower or raise the opacity. I might want to have that top layer a little bit see-through. So if I'm going to add a different picture and try to do a photo collage, I might want to lower that opacity so it's a little bit see-through. So this is some of the basic tools that you'll be using in pixlr.com, our photo editor. When you take, uh, when you are doing a project that instructs you to go step-by-step -step with Pixlr, this is how you will do it. If you want to play around with the different filters and adjustments, as you get more advanced and more practice with your photography, I want you to feel free to do that 
no matter what the project is, to make your photo better and more interesting. You can play with the different products. I'm going to go down to the Pixel-O-Matic, which is the most similar to Instagram. And again, I'm going to upload my image. Make sure it's here. Okay, in Pixlr-O-Matic, I just have different preset filters to play with. So if you look down here, there's different names for them. And what this is, is it's mimicking a developing tray, which you learned about when with film development and print development. This is a, a chemicals in the photo. It looks like it's sitting in the tray of chemicals. So when you move your uh, mouse around, you'll be able to make the, it looks like the water or the chemicals on top. So go to the different... Um, filters. They're all preset and you can choose one that you like. They all have different names. And if you want, if you find one that you like, I'm going to go with Julia. If you find the one that you like, you can go to the next settings in the green, and that was red, in the blue area. If you just click to that, then you're going to get these overlay effects, which are, you know, kind of fancy. I would be careful with these, don't get carried away. They're fun to add to your photos, but they can overwhelm your image, so just be careful. Subtle is usually better. If you want to just do these for fun with your portraits, that's fine, but when you're turning in a photo to me, make sure that that really makes sense, that you're adding this dramatic of a filter. This one's kind of nice, I like that one. And then the last effect is different frames in the yellow or green area. If you go to the different frames, you can see it shows you on the edges. Some of them are real, um, have a lot of, of effect to them, and some are real simple. So go ahead and play with those. And any time that you feel like this adds to your photo and you, you like the effect, then you can save it and turn it in. Feel free to use any of these effects for any project.